Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a geek gear unboxing. Um, this is the first one that I've done because I just received my first box. I've only just subscribed and I'm very excited to see what is in here. I'm still subscribed to the Loot Crate World of Wizardry box, but I think at most I'm going to be getting another two boxes before I cancel. Um, the only reason I'm really sticking with it at the minute is just because I want the last two Horcrux pins because I can't have an incomplete collection, it, it would just bug me. Um, so I'm trying to hang on for that but to be honest I'm really just not that impressed with that box anymore and I feel like for the price it's just not quite worth it for me anymore so I will be cancelling that one but not quite yet. And I was going to wait until I'd cancelled it to subscribe to this box, but I just couldn't hold off anymore. It was just calling to me, and I did it. I subscribed. Um, so yeah, this is my first unboxing, and I'm very excited. Much like Luke Craig, when you subscribe, you have to say what house you're in. Um, although they don't have the names, because I don't think it's like... I don't know they just go like red house or green house or whatever so I am Gryffindor so I went for the red house and as you can see my box is red and yeah oh so excited so let's get straight into it I like the fact this one's got like a pull tab thing rather than the sticker on the loot crate one because it's it's always a really nice sticker but it's impossible to get them off without making a huge mess so Okay, I already like freaking love this. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I think you get a t-shirt in every box as far as I'm aware. Um, and you have to pick your size. I went for a man's large because I just prefer a big baggy t-shirt to be perfectly honest with you. And this just looks incredible. It's a Hedwig t-shirt. I like the fact it's grey. Oh my god, that is soft. It feels like nicer quality than the Loot Crate ones. It feels a bit softer and a little bit thicker. I love that. Oh, maybe I didn't need to go for a large. That looks quite large. Maybe I could have got away with a man's medium. Oh well. But it's a Hedwig t-shirt. God, yes! Yes! Elsa for God! There's lots of things in here. There's something with the. Oh my god, is that a cushion cover? I think this might be a cushion cover and it's got Death Eater's mask all over it. Oh my god, it is a cushion cover with a very concealed zip. Like, I could not find that for ages. I kind of wish, I do really really like this, but I kind of wish the masks were silver instead of green. I feel like that would have just matched my decor a little bit more. But that is awesome. Actually I might get that, like a cushion for that and put that on my bed. It's so cool. Yay. It's a little a box. She's got all the house symbols on it. Oh my gosh, ooh. It's another thing with a Death Eater print on it. I think it's a scarf. Yes, so it's a proper like scarf. That is really nice. Oh yes, 
yes. I like the fact it's not black as well, it's like dark grey and then light grey. But that is really nice. Yes. I don't actually own many scarves like this, so that's nice. A lanyard. Oh, a Gryffindor lanyard. I actually already have like a Hogwarts lanyard. So I can put this with that one. Oh, this one feels nice though. That's so silky. And it's got a Gryffindor sticker in there. And then it's got a little Gryffindor, like, um, charm, I guess. Yes, I like that. I mean, I don't know how much use I'll actually get out of it, but it will look nice on my um, Harry Potter shelves. We have a big, long box, which I'm assuming is a wand. Oh my god. Oh, that is just beautiful. I don't know whose wand this is. I feel like it could be from Fantastic Beasts, but I'm not too sure. I don't immediately recognise it, but it is lovely. It's sort of like pinky purple kind of colour. And then it's got little novels on the end. And what looks like flowers or like feathers at the end. Yes, I like that. Swish and flick. I do like that one. And it comes in this lovely like tissue paper. And we have um two recipe cards now i know that they've been doing like um recipes in every box since the box started and i think you can buy like the ring binder that came with the first box um in their online store and i think it comes with all the recipes from the boxes leading up to that so i think i'm going to do that so that i can have a folder and all the other recipes but the two recipes we have ooh, this month we have a spicy love potion, which sounds very nice. Ooh, oh, and it's so cute. And then the other one we have are these little cauldron cupcakes, which are adorable. Poof, an hour and 45 minutes. What? Ooh, they do sound good. And then lastly, and again, I'm fairly sure you get a print in every box. Um, this is my first one and I couldn't have asked for a better one really. Like, it's Luna in her lion hat, which is my favorite Luna. I love her when she's got her lion headdress on. Why am I getting like tearful? I'm so overly emotional. I love, I just love her like that. I even bought the, um, like as soon as I saw the pop figure that they brought out with her with her lion head on, I had to get it immediately. I'm just thinking where I can frame that and put that. That might have to go in my bed, well, I say my bedroom, our bedroom. Um, although wait, I'm not gonna ask Pete first. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it up. Look at her. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so let's have a little look at the um, pamphlet thing they put in there. We get a little hint of next month's box, and the hint is like a stag's head. Ooh. So we had the Hogwarts lanyard, which came in each individual house, depending on who you are. Recipes, the sinister cushion cover. A sinister scarf, the lunar lion print, the t-shirt. It doesn't say who the wand is. This high quality handcrafted and painted wand comes with an iron core for extra stability. Great addition to any witch's and wizard's collection. So I guess my thoughts are... I'm pretty impressed. Like, I think... In terms of the value of the money, this is probably better than Loot Crate. It is like £25 a month, I think, um, not including postage, so it is quite a lot. Um, 
but I mean, it says in here the, that you can buy the t-shirt for £10, but to me, I would happily pay £20 for a t-shirt like that, so I feel like I've got my money worth, like my money's worth almost within the first item, so for me, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I feel like I do like the lanyard, and if I hadn't already got one from the Loot Crate box, I probably would be more enthusiastic about it, but I guess that's the most, or the least exciting um, item in the box for me. My favourite item is definitely the t-shirt, because, I mean, I just love that head wig. So, I'm really happy with my first box and I feel like I'm definitely going to keep this subscription for a while. Um, I just hope it continues being as good as it is because I have been watching like videos um, of what has been in previous boxes and it always just looks so good I had to subscribe and it just seems better than the Loot Crate box and I hope it stays that way. But yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys soon bye